Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have five tips for you on how to organize your writing and creative projects. If that sounds good to you, then keep on watching. So I know how it is. I know that we are in the middle of writing a project and all of a sudden we get an idea for something else and we put the thing that we have been working on for so long on hold and then we start a new project and then we get another idea and then we move on to another project. And I know how hard that is because at the end of the day, you have all these projects going on and you haven't finished any of them. So I want to offer these tips in order to help you get that done. From experience, I know that when I was in the middle of waiting on Between Us from the editor, I started writing the, sec the, the spin off to Between Us. And while I was writing that book, I started keeping track of everything that I was doing on in this journal that I had created for myself. It was, you know, I created tracking words and I was so excited and I was right in the middle of writing that book when I decided I should create this for other writers. And so I put that project on hold and I started another one. I started creating this journal. Thankfully, I was able to finish and publish this journal for writers, but had I not, had a finished product with this, I would have felt really bad that I had put my writing on hold to start, you know, a new project. But I know that's not always the case. I have started many projects that I haven't finished. So I want to jump right into the video and start with those tips. So the very first tip I have for you is to prioritize. I know that everything seems important, but the truth is that it's not. Select one project that you really wanna work on and make that your priority, and you can still work on the other projects, but you know off the top of your head which one is the most important. For me, I didn't do that, but in a sense, I did it in my mind because this was the priority, and while I was working on this, I hardly actually wrote. I don't recommend that because I really wanted to finish that novel too. So I should have prioritized maybe this one, but also set some time aside for the other one. So that's my first tip is to prioritize. My second tip is to make a list of things that each project is going to require of you. For example, if you are like myself, if you are working on this project, but you are also writing a novel, then maybe make a list of the things that you need to do for each, right? So for my, for me, if I needed to, if my goal was to finish the first draft of that novel, I would write things like finish first draft. How many words do I need to finish? If I had written 30,000 words already and my goal was to have 50,000, then I know I needed an additional 20,000 words. Then um, for this, what is it that I need to do for this in order to finish it? I needed to maybe create an outline. I needed to, um, you know, design the actual book for the writers. So just make a list of all the things that each project is going to require from you so that you can easily refer back to it when you are actually sitting down to work on it. The next thing I recommend is to create a schedule. Creating a schedule is going to help you work on all your projects without feeling overwhelmed and with avoiding burnout. So creating a schedule just basically means what works for you. So you can say in the morning, I'm going to be creative and I really want to dedicate time to this creative project. So I'm going to spend an hour to until lunch, whatever works for you, working on just this project. Then say, in the afternoon, I'm going to return to my writing and I'm going to write whatever works for you. Again, you can either say by chapters, I'm going to write three chapters, I'm going to write a thousand words, or I'm going to write for an hour. Whatever it is that works for you in your writing world, that's what you need to do. But selecting an, a time, a schedule that you're going to dedicate to each uh, project that you have going on is going to help you not only stay organized in your head, but actually get to that finished product. Tip number four is to actually create a plan to finish. So I am a big proponent of setting deadlines. So don't just be writing, you know, have a plan to become an author, whether it is 
to be out to submission to agents or whether it is to self-publish, have a plan to finish. If you are working on a creative project, decide when you're going to have this project finished. When are you going to have it out in the world? When are you going to have the proof in your hand? When are you going to finish your first draft? Whatever it is, have a plan to finish, meaning set deadlines for yourself. And tip number five is actually something that I've been doing lately that has helped me out a lot. And that is celebrating my wins. Sometimes you feel as though you have not accomplished a single thing in your writing or your creative projects because you just keep working and working and working. However, working without tracking your progress sometimes can be difficult for your confidence and your self-esteem and just how you feel about the work that you're putting out in the world, especially um, if you're a writer and you are a creative entrepreneur and basically you're working for yourself and you haven't put anything out yet so you don't have anybody saying oh I love your books no one is buying your books yet and you're just working and working and working and it seems as though it's in vain it could really derail you to the point of just giving up and quitting so celebrating your wins for me means at the end of each week on Sunday night, I recommend that you acknowledge everything that you have done in the week. Did you finish the first draft of your book? Or obviously in a week, that's probably not going to be possible, but did you write three chapters? Did you write 5,000 words? Did you revise any pages? Did you finish a section of your creative project? Whatever it is, acknowledge it and see it for what it is. And it's what it is, is a step forward in having a finished project. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you today. It's a short video. I just wanted to pop on here and give you the five tips that I think will help you get organized with all your writing and creative projects, especially during this time that we're all at home and we're all trying to be creative but feel a little stuck sometimes. I hope that you found this video helpful and inspiring in some way. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up that you share it with all your writerly friends and make sure to leave me a comment below with your organizing tips when it comes to writing and creating different projects and remember to subscribe on the way out thank you so much i'll see you guys again in a new video in a few days bye